Hey, so we have something a little different for you tonight. Um, we all couldn't be here, so we're going to do like a, uh, a, um, a repeat of some of our favorite cooking stuff that's already happened. Don't get mad. There's no reason to get mad. I mean, a lot of, a lot of shows can't always be there, and they run like repeats or best ups. We've gone 60 of these uh, Sam Livecasts and not aired a repeat once. It's the first time. And for a lot of you that are new viewers, you won't have seen some of this stuff. So we're going to give you a couple of a couple of the cooking things that I really liked, and one who eats this shit that I did not like at all and almost lost it over. Um, I feel like the like like Hitchcock, you know, giving a little like tutorial thing. I feel like it's the fifties. And I'm sitting here and, and just, you know, talking about my viewpoint about uh, what's going on in the world or, or something like that. It's too bad we couldn't have like a back and, back and forth kind of thing. We have the fourth. We, what we don't have is the back or the other way around. You, too bad you can't be asking questions right now. I could make up stuff. Pretend here. Watch this. I'll try one. Uh, check out this uh, this uh, email I got yesterday. Uh, it's from uh, Julian in Sarasota, Florida. Julian writes, Dear Sam, uh, a fan of the show for a long time. Love Just Cook This on Discovery Health. Uh, I have a question. Um, I know that you were interviewed by Howard Stern because of what went on with the Kathy Lee Gifford thing on the Today Show. I remember that too. It was crazy. Uh, what was that? Were you nervous before talking to Howard Stern? So a hey, good question, Julian. Um, you know what? I, I, um, I guess I was, but it happened fast. It was a Monday. Uh, I got a phone call from a friend that said, dude, like Stern is going off about you. I'd been on the today show and asked Kathy Lee Gifford to stop talking. I mean, I was polite about it and everything. It was Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb, and it was just this moment that, that there was too, too much conversation, and I didn't think the viewers at home could hear what I was saying, and I said, please, can I talk? Just give me, like, one minute. And it turned to this big thing that's now been watched 750,000 times on YouTube. Anyway, so Julian's asking about when Howard Stern found out about it, and then he interviewed me, and I was nervous because I was... Um, I was a month away from going to the Today Show in Vancouver during the Olympics. I'm from Vancouver, and they had me go there to do like a typical Canadian food. I did poutine, fries, gravy, cheese curds, really good. Um, and I was three months away from going back to the Today Show in New York because my second book was coming out. So suddenly, after agreeing to be uh, interviewed by Howard Stern, now in my head I'm like, holy crap, what if... Um, he gets me to say something terrible about Kathleen Gifford. If I say something, then um, I'm sure I'll get a phone call from the Today Show saying, don't come to Vancouver and don't bother coming back to uh, New York. We don't, we don't need you. And so that was the moment. I, 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 you know, Howard Stern's a great interview, and I was worried that he could pull some stuff out of me. But I think that I, I, think I found a way to, to um, straddle the fence between uh, not giving him too much and not saying too little. I didn't want him to call me a pussy. That would have sucked too. That would have been bad for me. It's a good question, Julian. Thanks for asking it. See how that worked? That was a total fake. You want another one? I could do another. I could do this all day long. You know, Max is giving me the no, no, that's enough. Okay, so here's what the deal is. Uh, you're going to see a couple things that we've done. They're great. Um, two of my favorite things with spinach. Uh, you're going to see one of my not favorite disgusting who eats this shit segments and um and that's cool and we have our sponsors to thank donovan's steak and chop house uh two spots in san diego and one in in uh, phoenix and they also have donovan's prime seafood where we did our very first remote live cast sitting at the bar at donovan's prime seafood uh me uh a stool uh, we had live people you, we're gonna do another one you're gonna be able to come and and hang out and and see what the whole live cast thing is like uh and our sponsor um fixtures living three locations san diego costa mesa rancho mirage 
and uh, we're going to be doing a live, remote live cast from their Costa Mesa location. We're just trying to figure out the date right now. So that's it. So sit back, ra- get yourself a, get yourself a cocktail. Uh, I don't. It's Sunday at one uh, thirty, but but I will later. Get yourself a cocktail, relax, watch the show. I hope you like it, and uh, we'll see you live again right here Wednesday night. You guys are the best. Without you guys there, we're not here, and and vice versa. You know what I mean? That makes perfect sense, right? All right, enjoy the show. See you. Okay, so here's the deal. Let me get a pan out. Uh, obviously, I'm inside, but I could be doing this. I could be doing this outside if I wanted. I'm using a grill pan, right? The ridges are going to help uh, get you close to what's going on outside. It's really great. So here's what I need. I need a bowl. Pardon my ass. So we're going to take a bowl. And these are previously uh, frozen, fully cooked meatballs that come in a bag somewhere. Come in a bag from the supermarket. You just buy them frozen, fully cooked. And they're like the one inch, one inch size. I tell people if you make the OK sign with your hand, they're basically the ones that would fit in there, right? They're like one inch. So here's what we're going to do. They're all defrosted. We're going to take them and put them in here. And I'm going to toss them with sesame oil, readily available from the supermarket. And we take a spoon. Sam, where do you get those squeeze bottles? We get that question all the time. Oh, the squeeze bottles. You know what? These things are, are really great. Uh, any restaurant supply store. And they're cheap. If you pay more than like a buck and a half for this, uh, you've, you've spent too much money. And I keep oil in them. I keep salad dressings in them in the, in the uh, fridge. So, right, so this is all you have, right? So these are going to just go right here in the pan. Boom, your job's done. And now you just need to get some color on them and get them heated through. I like to have this done for uh, a party that we have. We have people coming over. I have them set. I have them ready to go. And when friends come over, I give this job to somebody who's, who's at the house. But what's interesting is it gives one of my guests something to do and gives me time to do something else. So we're going to mix two things here for a little dipping sauce. And one is hoisin, and hoisin you can get from a regular supermarket, and it's just like a... Um, it doesn't come in that container, though. Yeah, they come in squeeze containers. Oh, really? I've yeah. in the glass bottle jar. Well, maybe not your supermarket, because you live right. out in the country. That's right, the country. But at my supermarket, hoisin comes in a squeeze container, and it's, um, it's sort of like a Chinese barbecue sauce, which is really good. And now we're using sriracha, which is chili sauce, just to give... A little bit of heat, uh oh. Just to give a little bit of heat, right? So that's it. So we mix that together. We put it in our little bowl. So the cool part is, I'm making this live in front of you, and you could totally do this. There's no editing in this, you're seeing it all happen right in front of your eyes, and it's not taking very long. And you can see, they're already starting to get some color on them. They smell good. They do smell good, right? Nice. We need some uh, little skew, oh gosh. Uh-oh. I hate it when this happens, when I don't have something I think I'm supposed to have. Well, that never happens. Bamboo skewers, oh shite. Oh, I got it. Will he ever learn? So watch, to get a cool plate. Uh, Here's one of the things that I tell people. It's not a coincidence that restaurants, 99.9% of the time, use white plates. Everything looks good on a white plate. 
I mean, I hate to think that people set out to make an amazing meal. Great filet, great halibut, sea bass, whatever it is, and then put it on like one of their kids' purple Barney plates. Don't do that. Just get some white plates. Right, so now watch what we do. These guys are almost there, right? So now we just skewer them. Oh. Like this, wrong. I mean, they're fully cooked, so there's not a lot of work that you have to do at this point. But color them on the grill. You're gonna like this. And you're gonna do this this weekend. And I want you to do it this weekend. And I want you to send me a picture of you doing it this weekend. Sam, what are you doing this weekend? Me? Yeah. Uh, Saturday I have two book signings with the Marines, one at Camp Pendleton and one at Miramar, and then Sunday Steve and I are working, aren't we? Yeah. We're working Sunday. What are you doing? You going to the river? No, we're staying home this weekend. Graduation party. Graduation for what? My brother's girlfriend graduated from San Diego State. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yes. We're very proud of her. Yes, as you should be. Okay, so look what you've done, right? You've done this, and then you take your little dipping sauce, and you throw it right there. Look mm -hmm. how cool that is. You could totally do this. And what did it take us? Three, four minutes. And then you just grab a guy. I love this. It's a fun thing to do. <laughs> nice. Mm. Those are a 10. All right, we've done, <coughs> <laughs> whoa, the chili sauce, just for a second. We've done good work here today. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to know that you can go to iTunes and you can download these podcasts, these live casts. You can tell your friends to do that. You can watch it uh, right on the samlivecast.com page. And you can come back next week. We're going to be here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night of next week. And Tuesday night from the San Diego Chargers, number 83, Vincent Jackson talking food with me right over there. We're having fun together, aren't we? All right. Now go tell everybody and have a good night. See ya. All right. So, so here's how this goes down. I've got... Uh, you can, you can unveil that. What do we got going on here? So here's what we've done. We've, uh, we've pre-cooked the artichokes because they take about uh, uh, 40 minutes. Is that right, Kelly? Yeah. Kelly's the artichoke expert in the house. But here's what has to happen. To prepare an artichoke, we just take the knife, yep. cut the bottom off of that. I need some butter right here. To so make it flat, and now, and now do this. Take this knife and cut about this much of it off, all the way down. Okay. Okay. So here's what has to happen. You gotta prepare it so that it looks, so that it looks like these guys. And that means, very simply, that you cut the bottom off so it stays flat. Take those. You cut the bottom off so it stays flat. You cut the top off so that the steam from what you're about to do to it in the pan can get in here and soften all this. And then because this part of the artichoke the leaves have a little prick in them. Oh, I didn't come out that. right. I didn't. Yeah. Mean <laughs> I meant there was a little they sharp do. point in these things. Gotcha. That's what I meant. Uh, Vincent's now going to take and just cut those off, right? Yep. Exactly. That's how you prep an artichoke. So I'm going to get some butter ready for what we're going to we're going to do here. Do you keep the pricks or no? You don't keep the pricks. You okay. get rid of the pricks. Because <laughs> nobody wants pricks around, right? Probably not. All right, I'm going to start melting some butter. So there's, a, you know, you can go a couple of ways with a, with an artichoke, and one of the ways is that you do like a little butter dipping kind of thing to it. And we're going to do that. We're also going to make a little mayo thing. Right. And this is this is Kelly's favorite thing, and and this is Kelly telling me how to do this. So here's what we need. We need some uh, honey. We don't have any of that regular mustard. In, in the pantry. We do in the pantry. French. Oh, there we are. There we go, there we go. Oh, it's brand new. Okay, so here's what you do. You take 
regular everyday mayo and regular everyday mustard, like this. Well, I like having you here, man. Thank you, man. Okay. Get all those pricks off. Yeah. How's that? Pretty good. Prick less. Prick less. Looks good. <laughs> so mustard. This is like an aioli. That kind of yeah. Except we're gonna put the 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 good part of this is curry powder. Oh shit. Wait a sec. <laughs> Nobody move. Oh, we got it. We're good. <laughs> Do that curry? I do. All right, so just do this. Mix that really well for me. <laughs> Beautiful. It smells good already. Yeah. So you'll put some of that in here. Okay. So this is what you do, right? So you've got it like this. You put this in a pan. This is the, the thing that we use right here. We put four of them in this. Water up to about here and set it to like a low boil, uh, lid off, right Kel? No, on. Oh, lid on. <laughs> Water to there, low boil, lid on for 45 minutes. And then they come out like this, and they're soft, and they're perfect, and they're ready mm. to go. So Vincent's got that in there. I've got this butter almost melted here. We're gonna add one thing to it, uh, just to help with the flavor a little bit, and it's chili powder. But I'm using chipotle chili powder, because it's just one of my Favorite. Do you like chili? I do. A little spice. Ch smell the chipotle chili. Oh, wow. Is it good, huh? Yeah, a little smokiness. Do you want to take this? you want this? No, it's all you yours. You can't have Thank it anyway, you. so right. it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is mine. <laughs> and then here's what you do. When you eat one of these things... More prick. <laughs> <laughs> when you eat one of these things, this is the amount that you can eat. I don't know how close you can get on this, Steve. But right here, that's about all of the meat. the meat that you can get. So watch. That part right there is good. So here, we'll do this. We'll put some of the butter in here and mix it. Mix it right there. It's just, a tr I mean, butter is a traditional little dip for, for artichokes. What I like about this is that it's got just that extra little kick to it. So now, me and my date hang out right here. Hello. We're all set? All set. And then you just pull them off, boom. And that's what you do. Dip in there, and then throw them over your shoulder. Mm. <laughs> you got it. Money. Another one? Yes, sir. I want some of this one. I haven't had this one yet. I'm all over this. Boom. There you go. You got it down. It, this is really Spicy, good. Spicy, yeah. but really good. Yeah. But fun to do. And you can do this at home. It's Don't easy. Yeah, it's it's really easy. Don't be scared of artichokes. People need to do this more often. It's just an ideal appetizer to have. You have a bunch of people come over. This is all you need. This. You don't have to do the spicy one if you don't want, but I like where it goes. Get ready. <laughs> what is <that>? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Show that to Steve's camera. No way. Boom, baby. <laughs> have you had this before? Oh, no, God, dude, I have not had this I, before. Yeah. We haven't all had pig's feet before? No. Okay, but can I just, no. okay, I don't know if you're... What's Steve, in there? can you close Besides up right feet. here? Here, 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 here. It's a pickled product. Get this, get this, look at look it. <coughs> and watch oh. this, watch what happens when you move it. Oh. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, great, it's like... Oh, fuck. It says... It says semi-boneless. That was, that was the best part about it. I hope you get the bone. <laughs> Packed in vinegar. So, do we think it's cooked? This is gonna smell worse than it looks. Okay, you wanna know what the ingredients are, Lynn? Pork feet, cured with water, sodium nitrite, sodium therobate. It's packed in vinegar, salt, and ascorbic acid. It's, not, it's basically pork product. Chug it. <laughs> it. <laughs> Here's Sean. Chug, chug it. it. Chug it. <laughs> Okay, let's let's see you no. big boys do this. Come on. Why would anybody smell. eat this shit? Tell them. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, nice, nice. They brought smell? us forks and napkins. What? How does it smell? Like you know, it sink. smells kind of like. Um, yeah. Oh crap! There's like a vein or something, dude. No, <laughs> oh, put it in there. That, that's that's nasty. I don't know what that fucking thing is. Okay, 
Here's the reason. Wait. Oh God! Why is this too big a piece coming out now? Hold on. And so while while you guys are getting this out of there, and oh. Lynn looks like he's seriously examining what it. What is this? We are open. Okay. So what? Oh, we're look at do. the piece hanging over the edge. Wait a second. Ew. Oh. oh my God! Look at right here, Steve. Right here. Oh. I don't even know what this is. Wait, Lynn. Oh. We got to do the same time. No, it it really does. You know, like it smells like when really your sink has like. Oh, don't spill it on your computer, man. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, here's the Sorry, bone. Then just took a smell of it, and you started All I got coughing. was bone. I got a, I got a piece here. So you gave me a bigger piece. Do you want me to take a big piece? No, 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 no. We're good. I got. It. Look what I got. Lynn, you are the bigger person. Oh God! There. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> gag! Don't gag! There was something hanging off it. I don't know what it was. Gagging is contagious. Probably some of the semi bones. <laughs> Why are we doing this? All right, this is the worst idea. Max, All right, I I'm going to count guts. down from three. Ready? I'm going to count down from three. Wait, can we just take a second? You were saying what? Something about... Oh, I can't keep... Yeah, so really quickly, I wanted to tell everybody that this is going to be a new reoccurring thing on the show, and we're, we are open to suggestions. If this you guys wasting time. have something... If you, yeah, exactly. If you guys have something special like pig's feet, pickled pig, pig's it. feet, um, send, a, send it in to us or send us an email with what it is and I'll head over to the store nice, and pick it up. So that it we doesn't can say feed pickled, it man. It just Lynn. says, I mean, I know the vinegar makes it pickled. No, no, it's, it's right here. Pickled products. Oh, fuck. All right, enough stalling and okay, put it down your throat and tell us why right, anybody right, would right. eat that. Ready? Wait, what's this thing called? Why would anybody eat this shit? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it. <laughs> It's just like, no, down it, down, don't, no, no, no. Oh I'm not putting mine out. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it was a bone. <laughs> I gotta swallow it. <laughs> He's, Lynn is spitting it in his hand. No, no, no. Dude, Gone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging, but... You're Chinese. I know you've had some crazy ass shit. <laughs> Am I right? This is by far one of the worst things I've ever. And I, I'm sorry for people that love pig's feet, but oh, I don't. God. Oh, I have tears. I need to get something to drink. Hang on a second. Yeah. You like your dim sum? I love dim sum. Chicken feet? Yeah. Love it. I love chicken feet. It's amazing. It's like especially when it's like nicely seasoned and it's all that collagen on it. It's great. All right, so. Here's what we're doing. The food that I make for you guys is the food that the uh, crew eats when we're done. And so we're making, I think I said, the most important pizza you need to know. And, and here's why, because I want you to watch what I'm doing. It's not just a good pizza for, um, it's not just a good pizza for you to eat at home tonight with your family or whenever. But it's a great pizza for you to take to a party. I'm going to show you why. Because there's really only four ingredients in it. One of them is, the, is this herb garlic cheese that you buy at a, at a regular everyday supermarket, right? And so you take the you take your pre-made crust. And I'm using one of the whole wheat ones that you can buy. And um, yes, we know that generally whole wheat is better for you, but in this case, I'm not just using it because it tastes, because it is better for you. I'm using it because it tastes really good. The, the whole wheat part, and I know sometimes people have a problem with whole wheat. They're like, oh, it's, it's going to be bad and it's going to taste, you know, whatever it's going to taste. But no, I'm saying you want this because it tastes great. So all I'm doing is I'm spreading this herb cheese that you buy at the supermarket in a tub on these, uh, on these crusts, right? So we've got that part figured out. Now we take some pesto. store-bought pesto that you don't need to make. I mean, if you want to look, if you're into making your own pesto, seriously, I'm not going to stop you. But in this case, the store-bought version is 
Super simple and great. And the beautiful part of this recipe is that you come home, you throw it together in about two minutes, and it goes in the oven, and 10 minutes later, it comes out and it's ready. So look at, on top of this, uh, garlic herb cheese from the supermarket goes the pesto. It's genius. You just all you're just layering this thing up, right? All beautiful, all nice. And they're trying to remind me I need to talk like people aren't watching this because as we discussed in the beginning, oh wait, nobody can freaking see anything that I'm doing if you're on iTunes because I have no idea why. Because we haven't figured out the technology yet. You're watching us here, but on iTunes, you're not watching us. And now I'm going to take shredded Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it over the top. Just cover the whole thing. I mean, not like an inch thick, just like a nice light little layer, right? On both of these. So there's the crust, there's the garlic herb cheese, the soft garlic herb cheese that you buy from the supermarket, pesto on top of that, and this. And let's do this. Just for fun, we're going to throw some uh, red pepper flakes on top. Nice, right? You can see how this is working. All right, we're there. My oven's on to 425. Both these pizzas are going in. Can you see that, Steve? Steve, have you made this pizza at home? Yes. Yes, you did. So good. OK, let me get some mushrooms in a pan. Can I just say how cool this is that I can talk from back here right to you? Yeah, no, it's great. It wasn't good. I mean, I love it. I didn't really dig it before. Let me just check the, uh, the camera up here. I might have moved it a little bit. We need, a, we need to go get that we camera. We need a second to transition. Oh, we got to do something? Okay, no sweat. Okay, here's what I'm making. I'm making a warm spinach salad. One of my favorite things to do. You're really going to like it. And so here's what it is. We start with some mushrooms, and we're just going to throw this little box, half-pound box of mushrooms, sliced already, into a wok. And you're going to see over the next five minutes, they're going to go from this to soft and ready to deal with. You can go in there, son. <laughs> Let me try and get this. Let me take a look at the, uh, the, the artichoke deal. Oh, yeah. There you go, man. Check that out. Look at the bubbly goodness that's going on right oh, there. Oh, yeah. That's freaking hot. <laughs> so here's what you do. It's very simple. You get one of these, a little thing, a plate. We're going to put this beautiful little artichoke thing on there. And then the wonton chips that we made on the side. How perfect is that? Beautiful. Nice. You could easily make this, the part that you saw me make in the, in the beginning, cutting up the artichoke bottoms, cutting up the roasted red pepper bits, mixing with the mozzarella, the garlic. The, well, I didn't put garlic in, but you could put garlic. I should have put garlic in. I forgot garlic. <laughs> Go ahead, do the recipe on the website. I think that's the one that you should follow. But you could do that in advance and uh, put it in the fridge. And then when people came over, try and take it out about a half an hour before people came over and um, then throw it in the oven so you don't have to worry about doing that last minute, that last minute thing. And here's how it goes down. One ton chip, check out the steaminess, the steamy goodness in here, man. Cheese. More crop. <laughs> wow. Is that good? Once again, other shows aren't doing this. Once again, lucky covering the back. They think they're doing this. They're not doing this. They're doing everything pre-recorded. This is not what we are all about here. Hi, Boo Boo. Do you want to say hi to some people? Turn around and look behind you. Hey, Lucky. <laughs> oh, dear. Lucky. 
<laughs> no, now he's embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> oh, he went around the backside. All right, so while, that's, uh, while the mushrooms are softening, this is a very fast salad. We need to cook some bacon. And I think we covered the ready bacon thing the other day. I'm a big fan of it. It's easy to keep around. And once you have it, you'll use it for a ton of stuff. So I just need to cut some of this up to go in the salad. Like this. Very simple, little pieces. You just cut the bacon and you're ready. And now when the mushrooms, mushrooms are pretty close. I need, uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, are we okay? Oh, I forgot the hard boiled egg. Oh. <laughs> Max actually ate that last hard boiled egg. I watched you eat that. <laughs> uh, is there, is there, uh, Look at him. Is there a All sheepish. <laughs> is there a chance these things needed a little bit more? Is there a chance any of our neighbors have a hard boiled egg? No. There's not. No. Nope. And there's not even worth trying? No. How do you know that? <laughs> I'll call, but there's no way. Well. I'll call Peg. Oh. <laughs> it's just not the same. I'm so, I'm so mad. Why I hate myself. And you. That right. kid. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, hey. What happened? He pooped you off. All right, so the mushrooms, nice, right? Starting to look good in here. Yeah. Now we add this, the bacon. Because the mushrooms are not too far away from being done. No peg? You're not calling. I thought I was going to get yelled at by Max. Why? If they, if they got hard boiled egg, I want the hard boiled egg. I would send somebody to the store to buy one because I know you can. It's just not the same thing. I'm so disappointed with everything right now. Do you have a hard boiled egg by any chance? <laughs> do they? They do? You already called her today for rice flour, for God's sake. Yeah, okay, what's the, what's <laughs> She goes, you called me for rice flour, and now you're calling for a rice flour. Do you have one? We're right in the middle of the live guest. Is she looking? No. Oh, what good are they? Thank you, I love you, bye. Stick them. <laughs> All right. It's going to be really boring now. I can't, I got nothing to, nothing to jazz it up with. So here's what we're doing. It's a warm spinach salad, right? So I've got this honey mustard dressing. I've got the bacon. I've got the, what is this called? The mushrooms. And now I'm <laughs> going to pour, this, pour this honey mustard dressing in here. Mm. And let it do its thing. You have no idea how the egg finish this is, finishes this thing off. It's just, a, it's just amazing. <laughs> right, we're almost there. Sam. Yeah. Addy actually just said that your recipe in the book doesn't even have a hard-boiled egg in it. Oh. <laughs> Addy's such a know-it-all. We gotta get her off here. Okay. <laughs> this is the dressing, the mushroom, the bacon, right? Oh. It's good. Check this out. You know how good this is with the. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and so now the spinach is really, it's just going to wilt a little bit. You don't need it to wilt a lot. Just a little bit. And here's all you're going to do. You're just going to. Sorry. <laughs> Look at it. It's perfect. And if you had some hard boiled egg to grate over the top of it, Nah. It'd be stinking amazing. <laughs> Why did I have so many kids? That's what happens when they move Lynn, back. go to the egg thief picture. I think it's on the computer next to you. 
<laughs> at, I'm already getting called out. <laughs> All right, so this is the best. The best I can do is this, right? Look at, look how beautiful that is. I'm telling you, if there was grated hard-boiled egg over the top. You guys would be all like, wow, that's like just the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. The best I can do is some fresh ground pepper over the top of it. That's what I got, ladies and gentlemen. It looks, it 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 looks It does look good. Oh, no, no. So good. Don't get me wrong. And this is one, two, three, four ingredients, and one of them is store-bought. You want to make your own dressing, you can totally do that. But it's, it's worth keeping a few bottles of dressing around for stuff like this. I love this. I love this. And I love this. Okay. Here's what I say. Don't drop my hand. Don't drop my hand. You're going to be really hot. Oh, shit. Ow. Make all this stuff. So, um, here's the deal. I'm making, I'm making something called the Kaplan Special. So my mom's uh, mom, my grandmother's maiden name was Kaplan. And back in the day, this is a breakfast thing that they made very popular in the family. Came to my house when I was a kid, my mom made it, very popular. Consists of one, two, three, four, five items. And all good. The first thing we need to do is cut some uh, onion. And I like to use a yellow onion for this. And we're gonna throw it in the pan and we're gonna start it softening up, so. Sam, do you have a magic bullet? I don't even know what that oh, is. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no. I know what a magic bullet is. It's that thing that's, um, that you, it's like a, uh, it's like a coffee grinder. It's like a coffee grinder, but you can put anything in it. Okay. It's a blender, basically. It's like a, like a it's like a, it's like a, it's like a little, it's like pepper. a tube shaped, tube shaped blender, right? They're right, awesome. Steve? Yeah. You have one? As seen on TV. Do you have one? Yeah. Do you, ha do you have one? You do? We got it for Emma to make baby food. And are you making baby food in it? We were. We were. I see a lot of bottles, jars I think in the fridge. nanny still is. Oh yeah, right. I don't, make, I don't make baby food. I don't make baby <laughs> food. Okay, so check out what I'm doing. I'm just cutting some uh, yellow onion thin, and we're gonna throw this. Oh, I've got way too small of a pan. Hey Sam, can you move your cocktail? My glass? Yeah. I started with way too small of a, uh, a pan. Now I've got to move up in size a little bit. Sorry about that. I'll use this guy. Watch. But I don't want to lose any cooking time, so I'm going to get him hot before I throw this stuff in. All right. I can't read anything because I don't have anything on. Oh, there we go. Kelly's got nothing. I don't, what's leaking under here? So um, here's the deal. This is not a complicated recipe, but it's a recipe that, that you definitely want to make. I made it for Max uh, two weeks ago. I was blown away. I'd forgotten how good it is. And I only made it sort of halfway. I don't need anything out of here, Steve. <laughs> Why am I going to the fridge? Oh, because I needed butter. Sorry. Wayne says, have another drink. I got <laughs> That's one. That's inappropriate. I got one. I got one. I got one. Here's what we're going to use for this. Oh, crap. It's not even here. Hold on, Steve. Hold on. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're using whole wheat bread. Whole wheat bread is my new, my new absolute favorite go-to. Well, how would your mom make it? Uh, my mom would have probably used, like, white bread or something. So mm. I guess I'm bringing it into the 2000s, late 2000s or earlier. But it's just... When I make pizza these days, if I can get a whole wheat crust, I'm going to use it because not only is it generally better for you, but it's so good. It's so good, the flavor that's in there. Hey, wait, I'm going to make a couple of these. That way, we can all have a bite when it's done. <laughs> oh, look at Addie's sticking up for you, Sam. Thank you, Addie. Because I don't even Wayne, know what she's saying. Right. Wayne. Wayne uh, Legner. Yes. Right. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I found it. Oh, got to spend more time in the kitchen. His stories aren't that funny. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, we who's... We have a hater. We actually have a hater. Our first hater. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, so here's the onions. Here's the onions, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Calling you out by name. Jeez. You know what? Okay, so I just have to say this. If Wayne doesn't dig the stories, why is he hanging in this long into the show to hang the F up on the internet? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I need some butter in here. Yeah, you do. What do I do with it? Oh, it's right here. So a little butter in here. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> oh, look at We scared Wayne away. Damn it. All right. So a little butter is in here. Now melting with the tomato, with the, uh, with the yellow onion, right? Beautiful. Softening, getting nice. This is warming up. This is warming up. Oh, wrong one, up there. And now I need some tomato. We're gonna add some tomato to this. Just little wedges. Just cut your tomato into little wedges. And we're gonna throw this into the pan with the onion. Oh God. In a second. Oh no, what? <laughs> what well, that's raised, no good will come of that. I know that's a good reaction. Someone raised lighten up Wayne and then Wayne himself just posted a photo of you and he. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa, in my own house. Wait, which one does he kill? He goes waiting for the waiting for the cooking, not a hater. <laughs> oh right. How wait. How can, you, how can you hate a guy that was right here? You look very young in this photo, and it's our old kitchen. And you're wearing a shirt that I think says Hard Rock on it. Does it? it, it you know what? Can it's, I see it? It's a shirt we got from the Hard Rock in Chicago, like, ages ago. No, no, they can bring it up again. Bring it up again. Oh, they got it. Uh, there we go. There you go. Oh, it does. Does it say Hard Rock? Wait, which one is Wayne? Or it says rock hard. That's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Tomatoes here. Wayne's right. on oh. the left. What? Wayne's on the left. Oh, Wayne's on the left. All right. I just moved the cam. Okay. This is good. Here's what I got to do. I've got to start cooking some of this um, bread. <laughs> And I have to cook some eggs. I did say eggs, right? So check this out. Nice. We're going to throw these tomatoes in. Tomatoes are softer. They take less time in the pan. So we're going to throw them in after we've got the onions to the point where we think they're starting to be really nice. Now i got a great one. Mike Shelton, Paula yeah. Dean would kill you for wasting that. Butter. I didn't waste any butter. Watch what's <laughs> going to happen. I'm going to cook some eggs up here. Up in here. Here's where we go. Right? So this is nice. So we've got those cooking there. The eggs right here, Steve. Right here, Steve. Up in here. Up in here. <laughs> Sorry. Two eggs. Nice. So the tomatoes and the onions, right? Doing their thing beautifully here. The onions are soft, the tomatoes now starting to get soft. We need to season them a little bit. So you know I keep kosher salt and fresh black pepper mixed together. Look at Lucky, Lucky skulking behind. Where's Lucky? Hi oh. Boo Boo, what are you doing? <laughs> Lucky, you can see him back here. Why is that towel got, that towel just fell. <laughs> okay, so that's softening. I'm going to now cook two eggs, and I want these eggs over easy because for me, it's all about the runny yolk. You want, to, uh, you want to be able to cut into this thing and have the runny yolk sort of just spread out all over and, and take over the tomato and the onion and that whole thing. So, wait, let me, just, let me just make sure I'm doing the right thing up here with this bread. It's starting to brown a little bit. I'm going to butter again. If I had soft butter, it would have been no problem. 
but I didn't have any soft butter, so I've kind of got to do, I got to do that thing, right? Sam. Yeah. Josh Fuhrer writes, camera on the stove needs to be moved about an inch to Sam's left. Okay, put it back. <laughs> Wait, to his left? That way? Which way? To Sam's left. To your left. Yeah, so that was right. How's oh. that? Thank you, Josh. Is that good? <laughs> they direct. Right. Fans well, are awesome. Check. Little salt and pepper on the eggs. I'm running out of pepper in my little container, so I'll go this way. Addie writes, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Everybody that? wants in. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm telling you, you grill bread like this, it's very different than just toast. It's very different. A little more of this. Melt, nice, beautiful. This I don't like. This, this, this mess here, this, I don't. I gotta clean as I go. I mean, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't have the mess here. So I know if you're listening, and that's one of the questions on the survey, right, Max, is do you watch the show or do you listen to the show? So, okay, are you ready for the really important part of this whole onion tomato mixture? And it's right here. And it's Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. Ready? And it's this. And I think you'll be blown away by how much this adds three or four levels of flavor to the whole thing. And you'd think it would make it uh, too sharp and too, too <laughs> sharp and too tangy, but it doesn't. It makes it amazing. 55 minutes just went to 61 minutes. Yeah. We're at 61 minutes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's worth it. Watch. Who's going to hate? Wayne hates. Wayne's hating right now. Right now, Wayne's going way too long. Didn't get around to anything good. Plates. Max, remind people about the uh, survey. You're going to put it up right now. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's going to be up soon. Okay. The over easy eggs. We're going to flip them. Like this. They don't get very much time. And here we go, right? Some onion. Whoa. Oh, I'm telling you, just you wait. You just, you just have no idea until this whole thing just re really just like comes together. It's wish, crazy good. I wish Ross could come over because he says, okay, the eggs are overdone. <laughs> oh, Ross can bite me. These are freaking perfect eggs. <laughs> and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, look at this. Damn it. I'm sorry you're not here, but I want you to make this, and you saw how simple it is. We're going right here. Watch this. Ready? Was it Ross? Here we go. Where's Ross? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. What part of not perfect are these? So this, a cut, and a cut. If you're not having this for breakfast wow. tomorrow morning, if you're not having this for breakfast tomorrow morning, there's something wrong with you or you're not watching.